Hi everyone and welcome to Creative Cakes by Sharon. Yes, today I am creating Elsa's Ice Castle, but first I wanted to thank everyone who's watched my Elsa, Olaf and Anna tutorial so far. I've been overwhelmed and I really appreciate the support guys and I hope you'll enjoy this tutorial as well. So today I'm going to use this picture of Elsa's castle as a guide and if you'd like a copy of this there's a link in the description box below. I've got three 8 inch round cakes here as well as two smaller cakes and they're 5 inches and I'd cut them out of two larger 8 inch cake as well as a tiny little round piece of cake which I took from the off cuts. I've got some snowflakes which I've already cut out of some white fondant using these snowflake plunge cutters and you can get these from craft stores or lolly shops or cake shops at the moment or you can find them on eBay quite cheaply. I've got some melted candy melts here in the light blue and a dark blue and I used a white packet and a blue packet and all I did was added a few of the blue buds into the white chocolate as it was melting to create my two tones. I've got some light blue buttercream frosting. I've got some of these blue edible flakes which I'm just going to use as decoration at the end. I've got some light blue and dark blue sanding sugar as well as five cardboard lollipop sticks which I've just supported in a piece of foam. I've got my offset spatula. I've got my palette knife. I've got a round board which I've covered and I'm going to be using quite a few sheets of greaseproof paper today. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do today is create the chocolate icicles that cover Elsa's castle and I need to know the circumference of my cake so that I know when I've made enough icicles to cover right around the cake. So the circumference of the bottom cakes measures 24 inches and the top two little cakes measure 15 inches. As well as knowing the distance around the cakes, I want to get an idea of how tall I need my icicles to be. Bear in mind that whatever cake you're going to use at home, it's going to be a different measurement, just so long as you take these notes. So I'm going to start with my light blue candy mounts and I'm going to dollop small amounts onto my greaseproof paper. You'll notice I've got my measuring tape in front of me and I'm just going to refer to this as a guide. So now using my offset spatula, I'm going to carefully spread out the melted chocolate. I don't want it too thick, so I'm aiming for about 1 to 2 mils in thickness. And I don't need to worry about getting the surface perfectly smooth because this is not going to be seen. It'll be the underneath side, which will be perfectly smooth when we lift off the icicles from the greaseproof paper. So now I'm going to grab one of my lollipop sticks and score a line at the bottom just a straight line because this will be the base of my icicles. Now my chocolate is hardening very quickly which makes it a little bit messy using the lollipop stick. So I'm just grabbing my offset spatula and I'm going to cut the icicles out from this. So just a series of horizontal lines and then going across the top creating some diagonal lines. These will be the tops of the icicles. Because the chocolate is very thin, it doesn't take very long to harden or set at all. And you can see here when I'm lifting off each of the pieces of chocolate that the backs are beautiful and smooth. All of the excess pieces can go back into my bowl and I'm going to pop them into the microwave to remelt them. This is actually a fairly easy technique and something that the kids can get involved with to create their own castle. If you make any mistakes, you can either eat the chocolate or pop it in your bowl and reheat it. Now I'm going to create some smaller, narrower icicles out of the light blue chocolate, as well as some broader, tall ones out of the dark blue chocolate. So just following the procedure of spreading out the chocolate on the greaseproof paper and then scoring the shape of my icicles through the chocolate using my offset spatula. While I'm waiting for my chocolate icicles to harden up, I'm just going to cover my lollipop sticks with a thin layer of the melted chocolate and then I'm going to tap the lollipop stick on the edge of the bowl to get rid of the excess and also twist it in between my hands to create a bit of agitation to also get rid of any of the excess chocolate. These lollipop sticks are going to be the spires that stick out from Elsa's castle. So I'm just going to make them a little bit pretty and sprinkle on some of my sanding sugar. I'm going to use both shades. I've started off using the light blue sanding sugar up the top and I'm going down the bottom of the stick with the dark blue sanding sugar. Once I'm happy with the covering of sanding sugar on the lollipop stick, I'm just going to pop it back in my little styrofoam block to dry. 
Once again, this is something really easy you could get the kids involved in and get them to do. And just for something a little bit different, I'm going to do the top final spire using my dark blue chocolate and just using the dark sanding sugar. Now that my chocolate has set, I can easily lift these off the greaseproof paper and put them aside. Now the last thing I need to make using the candy melts is Elsa's round balcony and I'm going to make a few of these just so that I can choose the best one at the end. So just placing three small dollops of the candy melts onto my greaseproof paper and spreading out the chocolate and then I'm going to use my palette knife to cut in a round shape into the chocolate. It doesn't need to be a full round circle as we're going to poke one end of it into the cake. Once the chocolate has set, I'm going to carefully lift them off the paper and then just to embellish the edge a little bit, I'm going to apply a little bit more of the melted chocolate to the very edge and then carefully dip the edge into the sanding sugar. Now it's almost time to start decorating the cake with all the lovely chocolate icicles we've created but before we can do that of course we've got to stack and ice our cake so I'm just going to stack the cakes and in between put a nice layer of the buttercream frosting and then cover the entire cake. Now we've come to the fun part and that's decorating the cake with all the chocolate icicles but first I'm going to insert Elsa's balcony into the cake so I'm just going to slide it in very gently under the second tier and then using all of the icicles that I've prepared I'm going to start arranging them right around the base of the cake using a mixture of the light and dark colours. This is a really easy step for kids to get involved with. The frosting should be still soft enough so that the chocolate sticks to the cake. If it doesn't, you can always use a little bit more of the melted chocolate to adhere it to the cake. Once you get to the second tier, sort through your chocolate icicles and find two pieces which have a point that meet in the centre and stick them together at the centre of Elsa's balcony. This is going to create her door. And then continue to add the chocolate icicles right around the second tier as well as the top tier. And then finally I'm going to use all of the embellishments such as the spires and the snowflakes to decorate the cake. So starting with the top centre spire I'm going to insert that into the cake and spread the other four around the cake evenly. And then I'm going to glue on my snowflakes all around Elsa's castle using some of the melted chocolate and sprinkle some of my shiny blue glitter flakes right around Elsa's castle and pop Elsa right on top of her balcony. So guys I really do hope you enjoyed this tutorial of how to create Elsa's chocolate ice castle. I hope you'll give it a like and share it with your friends. Don't forget that I love to get your feedback and comments so drop me a line in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more creative cake tutorials and as always thanks for watching.